Welcome back to Sonic Lost World. A good game. At least so far. <laughs> so far. Now we've got to enter the desert, and uh, I'll, I'll admit it, the desert ruins aren't my favorite uh, zone of the game. They're, they're, they're not bad. They're not great. They're pretty good. Uh, you know, some of the levels are fun. A couple of them, uh, I don't know. They suffer a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. These animals are quite underwhelming. I'm disappointed in competent fools. What makes them so disappointing? Disappointment. What makes a robot bunny controlling thing or a bunny you stick in a robot so disappointing? Oh man, is he torturing them? Yeah, I guess like he who has the con is in power, so you know, Eggman's in power. He has the urn. Right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Yep. So, um, one thing I, I wasn't forces. really aware of the first time I played, I, I had an inkling of it, but I wasn't sure exactly how it worked, is if you use the spin dash, and then uh, let it go for a second and tap it, or uh, not tap it, hold it down, you can spin dash indefinitely. You can just oh, that's dash. cool. Yeah. And it's really, really useful. I, managed I like, to, like this game more now. Yeah. This, the spin dash is great, and I, I've been like playing around with it. Like, I know I can do this more effectively than I have been. I'm just not sure how. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm still having trouble running up the walls though. Wall running is a little difficult, and this level, uh, this level does heavily use that mechanic. So, yeah, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna make do. Whoa! Oh, you got hit. <laughs> Yeah, and uh... It was a trap. It was a and trap. And keeps hitting you. It, it's a very devious trap, because you're trapped in there with the trap. And, <laughs> well, once you're trapped in with the trap, what can you do? But, we escaped. We escaped going that so fast. Yeah, we're going fast. Not, not so much in this area, though. So, we mentioned wall running. You mentioned that I'm having a little trouble with wall running. Well, oh, level boy. based around wall running. But luckily, okay. luckily, when you can jump, it's a lot easier. Yeah. And we, we can use the spin dash up walls too, but I'm not going to use it as much here because, well, it's easier to just... <laughs> Die? <laughs> no. Lose all your rings? That actually went a lot faster than it normally does because uh, I managed to just kind of boost across the spikes and then got onto the next wall. Okay. But hey, see? Yeah! Great! Doing pretty good! So, Whoa. please! Yeah, you gotta watch out for those, the Graboids. The Graboids will get you. They're that wasn't a gra Graboid, that was a worm! Yeah, I guess they're more worms. Okay. But they're giant, and they come out of the ground, like the Graboid did. I mean, they're a little bigger than a Graboid, and here we go! You've got what the this? The Eagle! The Eagle? Yeah, this is the Eagle Wisp. I didn't know there was any such thing. This is the eagle, and you just learned about him. Okay. That's great. Cool. He's a, he's a pretty useful wisp, and uh, I like him a lot. He controls really well, and uh, I, I have nothing but good things to say about eagle. Okay. Yeah. Great. So actually, so pretty much all the wisps. I think there's, there's one lame wisp in the game, and the, the rest are pretty cool. Check this out. So you can't touch those uh, that quicksand at all with the enemy in the canyon. Um, I mean, you could touch it, but you have to you have to keep jumping and running out of it. Otherwise, you will sink and die. And the uh, the okay. dark the dark sand slows you down. The light sand you can run on normally. And the sinking sand is of course very very bad. So yeah, you you do have to be careful of the quicksand. And if you get stuck in it, it's it's gonna screw you up a little bit. It's not a game ender. You, you, you can get out of it, but it's better not to. Because, you know, you wanna go fast. Like this. We don't be fast, except when we have to get on these things. Mm hmm. But, you know, Sonic's always had a little bit of slow platforming, waiting for things. It's fine. Check it out. Extra life. 
Oh, don't get it. Don't worry. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of traps in this level between the worms and the the bee spiders. Yeah. Are, are those? The, I think they're they're colored like a bee or or a yellow jacket. Oh. Uh, well, that answers my question. If they kill you in one hit. If they swallow you, they do kill, kill you in one hit. But oh, luckily, like... you did not swallow me. Luckily, they've oh. just been touching me. Okay. They have I to act. Realize. Yeah. They have to actually eat you to kill you in one hit. But other than that, <laughs> see, this is how you do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to do it the way I did it. Although the way I did it was a little faster the first time. But yeah, if they just touch you, they just knock all your rings off like a normal enemy. Not too bad. We don't want to go in that door either. So stay away from that. Oh. That is in that door. Well, that door just takes you to the next part of the level. Oh. This oh. part takes us to the bell. A really challenging bell. Whoa. Because there are worms. Worms that really want to eat you. That really want to eat you. And we need to be careful because there's... Well, we don't have a, we don't have all the time in the world to get that bell. And the worms, they want to keep us from it. And they had an alternate exit. Yeah. They both take us here, but, you know, still gotta be careful. Still gotta be careful. What are those cactus things called? I don't Giant know. ones that <laughs> roll around. A lot of new enemies here. Which should be... old ones. Ask me what the, ca uh, the, the ladybug enemies are called. What are the ladybug's enemies called? I don't know. Ask me what the worms are called. What are the worms called? Graboids? They're not called Graboids! They don't grab you, they only eat. Ask me what those weird things are called. What are those called? I don't know. Jeez. I know... two terms for Sonic enemies. I know I know that there's the Caterpillar, and okay. I know that the enemies are called bad things. Like, the, the, okay. the general term for enemies are bad things. Other than that, I know nothing about, like, Sonic War. He has lots of friends. His name is Sonic the Hedgehog, and he battles the evil Eggman, who has a Caterpillar. Those purple ones are the Caterpillars, I think. Uh, those they those don't are normally traditional just... Caterpillars. We yeah, saw the Caterpillar they... in the last world. Okay, you're right. That's the level wasn't too bad. wasn't wasn't great. It didn't didn't have the same flow to it as the first world, but that's fine. You know, it was okay. Up in the difficulty, we saved our animal friends. That's all. Mm -hmm. All that matters. Yeah. And we're coming up on uh, part of the game I've been telling you about. Part of the game that you're gonna love. I'm gonna love. Yeah, you're gonna love. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't believe me. Speed ah, two-player races. Let's do it. Let's do the two-player races at some point, I'm sure. Mm. Also, really putting pressure on me to come over. Yeah, I am. <laughs> really am. I mean, it's going to be great. We're going to have all this cool stuff. All this cool, cool stuff. But first, we've got to do a circus. And someone pointed out that circus is not... Um, Breakout. Breakout. It's not Arkanoid. It's actually a game called Circus. Mm-hmm. And, well... This is a little different. Yeah, I mean, these these first two worlds play a little different than the video he linked to. And I discovered... Spoiler. Since I, like, this shows how little of the circuses I played, it still managed to get through the game without grinding. Too much. <laughs> In the next world... Um, circus is exactly Circus. You you uh you play it exactly as the circus that was linked to in the thread. So if you want okay. a, a hint of a vision of the future, well, check that video out. So you don't have to touch the flickies, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't think so, but sometimes no, because they disappear in the air. They disappear in the air, but when they're just kind of on the ground, it's like they disappear when you touch them. So I don't know. Are you running out of time? Yeah, uh, it is a limited amount of time, and you can hear it counting down in the background. I think we have a minute. Okay, well, you got a lot of flickies. Yeah, we got a ton of flickies. I mean, we've got... We've got... 
1500 almost and i mean i saw a barrier into the next world that was like 900 so we're doing well we, we've got plenty of flickies here we go you fat one go take care of that blue pest hey, who are you calling fat you <laughs> now if you hurry to destroy sonic i've got an even bigger sandwich Oh, the sandwich! Doesn't look as detailed as past Sega sandwiches. Well, this is a more cartoonish game, so it's a cartoony sandwich. Oh, help me. Oh, he broke the floor! He's so <laughs> fat! <laughs> yeah, Sega has... has some problems with fat people. They, they think fat people are hilarious. They're pretty hilarious. How's the diet go? Um, probably gonna gain weight this week, but not too much. I'm down, uh, I think nearly 40. I'm at like 30. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you gain weight, Sega will shame you because whatever. And in the background, well, we, can, we can hear the guy taunting us. He's taunting us. Yeah. And making you know, terrible fat jokes. Oh, he's a fat man. It's a lot of points. We're getting tons of points. And, Magic uh, points still meant something. Yeah. Uh, what are those numbers? Uh, if you get them all in a row, from 5 to 1, you get an extra life. So, yeah, uh, it's not super useful given how many lives we have, but, you know, it's another thing to play. If you can't tell, this is an auto runner. We're just running forward. We don't have any way to stop it, to my knowledge. And it's pretty fun. It's really challenging, though. Really, really challenging. And, uh... I kind of like it. I, I like it, too. I mean, I, I just... Uh, I wish I were dying. Because when, when Sonic hits a wall, he splats up against it. Your card's oh. Don't worry. At some point, I will die. Not in this level, spoiler. But I, I, there, there, there will be deaths in these kind of levels. But okay. yeah, it's really, really funny. I can't believe he made it this far. Like, he, he, it just, he's like, <laughs> he splats almost into a panther. It's, it's great. Is that even possible? Now, that, that last uh, boss we faced had like a moon. Or whatever the uh -huh. hell it was. This guy has a giant face. I don't understand it. It's very pixely. It is. Is this supposed to be like a fat face? What is this? Are you supposed to land on him? No, no. You'll see in a minute how we fight him, but... Oh boy, that's a spike. That is a spike. So what do you think it does? I... I don't know. Nothing, we just want to attack him. Oh. I thought that was like, he gets stuck to it because he's so fat, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it would have been cool if we kind of, like, cannonballed into the thing and it bounced him up into the air and he landed on the spike, but whatever. Can't have everything we want. A little too brutal. A yeah. little too brutal. <laughs> and all, <laughs> his, like, stomach opens up to reveal thousands of sandwiches spilling out. <laughs> Their daily should have spawned. Man, he floats pretty good. I mean, maybe he's, maybe he's not fat. Maybe he's full of, like, uh, hydrogen. Maybe we shouldn't hit him because he'll explode. I feel I feel like when you hit him, I kept feeling like that parts of his body were gonna go flying off, like he'd lose weight from you beating him up. But didn't happen. Would he become less evil in the end? Do you, do you think Sonic's message is that like o only thin people are good and moral because they run like Sonic? Hmm. He'd be more active. Our levels green or about is that the, the the end game of Sonic's weight shaming? Possibly. Also, th this is the grand scheme of Eggman. Okay. What is this? Let's see. Whoa! Yep, he's built a device. A life-sucking device. It sucks life? Apparently. Why does he want to do that? Oh, oh yeah, that's the stuff. Feed Dude! Me, baby. <laughs> I'm feeling stronger by the second! <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. No, Eggman, you screwed up. 
think after all these robots you built, you'd be able to build a giant life energy sucking mega weapon. Unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Speak for yourself. You want it for? Oh, dude! I almost talked over that completely. Almost missed it, like Eggman. We got the we got the subtitles on. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. But yeah, Eggman's got a plan, but it looks like the Deadly Six might have an even deadlier plan. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. But luckily, Eggman has his conk. And uh, he can keep them in line. Hmm. So, you know, we don't have to really worry about the deadly six. They're more like uh, the harmless six. <laughs> Am I right? Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. None of them have really posed much of a threat to us yet. As repetitive as these are, I really like them because the, 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 they're a nice way to, I don't know, we're actually like relax and have a little bit of fun with the yeah like a really simplistic thing. button mashing thing. It's like the rest of the game is pretty complex and requires a good deal of thought and uh, precision jumping, precision uh, timing. It's very twitchy, twitch based, whatever. It's just like have some mm -hmm. fun. Collect some flickies. Get a lot of flickies. <laughs> so it's so many. Yeah. We're almost overpopulated. That's true, we might have to start hunting them. Yeah! Should uh, we let's play a Cabela's <laughs> game next? <laughs> um... I don't know. Sure. Okay. Extra life. I'm gonna hold that to you. I'm gonna hold you to that. Ugh. Now... Okay. Desert Ruins. Here we go. Desert Ruins! Get it? Yeah. What There's you... dessert everywhere. What do you think? I think that this is the ideal place for that fat, uh, deadly six man. Why isn't his boss battle here? I don't know. This seems like his spot. I, I expected his boss battle to be another boss battle to be here until you said, "Why isn't it here?" Well. Boss battles are in the uh, the second and fourth levels, but uh, huh? anyway, anyway, to explain the, those last enemies we fought, you want to kick them. If you just homing attack them, unless you do a full power attack, they will catch you and blow you up. But you know, you just lose all your hands. So the, you want to homing attack them. In fact, or no, no, you want to homing kick them. And you probably want to homing kick these guys too. Yeah, the, the bounce thing can be good, can be bad. Better to homing kick there. Because, you know, the homing kick will kill a bunch of enemies in a row. And that's good. You're trying to run off the ceiling. So is that licorice? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know a lot about candy. Especially licorice, I never liked licorice as a child, but yeah, it looks like licorice. Yeah. These donuts. Cupcakes. It's, uh... No wonder that uh, I'm planning to bring uh, donuts from the local donut shop to all my holiday parties. Uh, I want donuts. Well, dude, you're gonna be able to have donuts when you come up here. We're gonna go to the local donut shop. It's gonna be so great. We, we those, go to the those... diner. We go to the diner down the street. The diner down the street. Yeah, there's, uh, diner. there's no diners here anymore because they all closed. Ah, it's really good. For those who don't know, it's gonna make me play Sonic 06 when, we, when I get there. It's gonna happen. I'm not gonna make you play it, you're going to play it because <laughs> you want to. <laughs> what I'm gonna make you do is, if Joe Wallach comes, we're gonna make you watch uh, Raise the Titanic. The greatest movie of all time. Okay. Whatever you say. So do you think those are Oreos or Hydrox? Um, I thought that it might be Oreos at first, but... Whoa. Pancakes? Pancakes. <laughs> Wait a minute, pancakes aren't a dessert? <laughs> what the hell is this level? Well, maybe there's, like, ice cream in the pancakes, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, even then, IHOP probably sells that as a breakfast. Maybe. 
Oh, and uh, to quickly explain these uh, these projectiles, you can't homing attack them. You just have to hold down the homing attack button, and you can just kind of go through them and pop up. It's a little confusing at first, but yeah, that's how you do it. Overall, maybe cool level. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I was gonna say uh, maybe it's the syrup that's considered dessert. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's one of those cakes that looks like something else. Maybe. Can we, can we get the, the thread and uh, the YouTube comment th commenters' thoughts on this? Like, are pancakes a dessert? Are donuts even really a dessert? Donuts are more of a breakfast food to me. Ah, they're both. That's why I felt weird uh, bringing uh, donuts to all these holiday parties. I even asked since one was a, well, one was a birthday party, so it's like, hey, I brought those donuts last time we had a party. They seemed like a big hit. Should I bring them again? It's like, donuts? The, it's like, you have them for breakfast. Yeah, it's true. And, Ooh, this uh, one looks a lot harder. Yeah. What's that purple one in the middle? Is that the one that just ends it? Yeah, but I didn't notice it, unfortunately. <laughs> Which would be really useful because, as you can see, this is a, uh, a slightly tougher game. Yeah. One of the great things about the Colonial Donut Shop, though, it's the biggest cliche in the world. You go there, and it looks like something out of the 1950s. There's always cops there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like, oh, you, you would miss Sonic when you tried to jump in. I didn't realize that would screw you over. Yeah, whatever. But Whatever. You go there, and uh, I, I always go there at 4, because they, they open at 4, and they, they close at noon. And my schedule, I usually sleep from those hours. So it's either wake up early or go to bed late, and I'd rather go to bed late. And so I'll Did you get a... I'm sorry, did you get, like, a speed thing? Oh, wait. Hold on. One word of helpful advice. Diet and exercise. Diet oh! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Sonic. Your unhealthy <laughs> attitudes towards his body image are not welcome. Oh no! Where do you think you're going? Like, mustard is really important on a sandwich that you want mustard on. That's <laughs> three <laughs> words. The whole thing. That's three words. <laughs> it's like my favorite line so far. <laughs> that that and Eggman's complaints about the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to like know what could have That's... made those animals acceptable. <laughs> Maybe if they were smiling more. Maybe. <laughs> what what makes a, an acceptable animal in, in Eggman's head? In his head cannon, I suppose. He might build a head cannon. Um, what what I was gonna ask before you got into this level is that there was like a shoe on the map, like a speed shoe, to speed up. Uh -huh. And you missed that. This, did that that hasn't really made you faster going into this level. What's that about? Well, um, I may have started this level with them, but I I, I didn't show it off because it was just ranked. Um, but you get those power ups, and I, I will be showing them off uh, a little later on because the, the, at this point in the game, you don't really need them. Um, when you are in gameplay, your Wii U gamepad has an icon on it with a little briefcase, and that briefcase contains power-ups you're picking up. Oh, cool. And you access it during gameplay, and you can use the power-up. Okay. So, they're really helpful when you're in a jam, and unfortunately, I use them during one of these levels. If you see my my rings just pop up uh, at some point in the video, that's what was doing it. Sorry, I didn't notice. Uh, I didn't note it. But uh, th that will actually be important later on, because there's a level where I'm like, oh man, I could really use some rings now. I'll use a power-up, and I just happen to not have any ring power-ups at that time. <laughs> so, that, th that was unfortunate, but it, okay. it can be a pretty useful thing. It's a, it's a, a nice little mechanic. They're, they're not always useful, but you know, sometimes, sometimes they come in handy. Basically Mario 3, except... Uh use them during the levels and not right but before. Yeah. And th they're not as as useful as Mario 3, but at the same time, since you can use them during levels, it's maybe more useful in a certain way. First death. Wow. Try again. Yeah. 
This game's a lot nicer than Smash Brothers, which calls me a failure every time you screw up. Really? That's mean. Yeah, that's all it does. It just says failure. It's really mean. I don't know. This game's a lot nicer. Yeah. Maybe Nintendo should take some lessons from Sega. <laughs> Not business lessons, but... I, I bet I bet Nintendo doesn't hate fat people nearly as much as Sega. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Why do you... Like... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I don't that? know. Why are you such jerks? Maybe it's because Mario's a little chubby. I don't know. Maybe. Mario's very athletic. Mario's very athletic. For his size. He is. And again, so is, the, so is this monster in the Deadly Six. It's true. He's, uh, I mean, he's, he's flying on this tornado. He's, he's, he's doing some things, so. I mean, he seems like he eats a lot, but, I mean, is he healthy? Might be. He's kind of like uh, Daniel Cormier of the, the UFC. He's, he's yeah, fat. <laughs> I mean, he, he likes to eat and he stays in shape. Check this dude out. He can jump. He can... Belch. He's a little gross. Really high. Yeah. And but can ev can every member of the Deadly Six jump higher than that? Is it either way? He might be healthy. He could dig. Mm -hmm. That's true. He could dig very fast. You're right. For for a Zeddy, we don't know uh, if his athleticism is as comparable. Maybe. Uh, Maybe compared to other Zeddy, he's very unathletic, but so far, he seems pretty athletic. I mean, that other guy had to ride around on his stupid ball. Yeah, he was better than Zaz. Yeah, this guy is definitely better than Zaz. So, yeah, wall running comes in handy, as does the, uh, the spin dash up the walls. Unfortunately, the targeting kind of failed there. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. And hey, you know, he, he uh, believes in reusing and probably recycling because he's repurposing <laughs> his giant floating head thing as walls for this level. Okay. That's true. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, check it out. I mean, wow. This guy... I didn't even notice the background. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, and I think it's cooler that he is uh, he takes two go. reusing. Time. Even if he f refuses to reduce. But that's fine because he's clearly a more formidable enemy than some of the other deadly six. His ability to jump and do other things. And dig! I mean, yeah. that digging is super impressive. Yeah, you could barely catch up with them. Yeah, Sonic can't dig like that. Sonic for all his no. speed shaming can't do anything like that. He needs a, a wisp. <laughs> Sonic, you have some lessons to learn, buddy. I hone your abilities. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. Even if the animals are underwhelming. Give you a giant sandwich. I'm a compassionate hmm. man. That Hold shell on, looks like possible. trouble. Hold on a second. Sonic! Uh, uh, uh -oh. I think that thing in Eggman's hand Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Sonic, what have you done? <laughs> that was a mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeddy from controlling my max. Do you think there, there's lots of other Zeddy out there? <laughs> These are just the deadliest ones? Possibly. Oh, this isn't good. I like that Sonic just took his chance to bully him. <laughs> Are you saying that Sonic is the real villain? <laughs> well, he did. He, he just said, when's it a mistake to take your toys away? Well, it's like, they do. They, they, they are much. used to, like, suck the energy out of a planet. That is, that is true. Alright. I mean, I, oh, man. I want the fat one to be in. What's the fat one's name? Oh, his mustache. Damn. This is really action packed. It is. This is a better cutscene than any of the ones in Sonic 06. Yeah, it really is, actually. Is it, is it better than Sonic just falling on his knees? <laughs> Dying? <laughs> uh, okay, it might not have been better than Sonic dying. Although, there, there are no B cutscenes in this game, all the cutscenes are pretty high quality.
<laughs> you, I like that yours was the one where he was dying. I meant the one when Elise died. Oh. Uh, one to cry. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, we're done with the desert. Yep. Ha, 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 ha.